imagination, Paul, I know you might be surprised. And Paul, I know you may be a little perplexed. And I know that this is not your preference. Uh, I know you prefer that I would remove the problem. But Paul, I'm not going to remove it. Uh, but I know you feel like you can't handle it. And I know you feel like it's too much. And I know you feel like you're going to lose your mind. And I know you feel like driving off a cliff. But I want you to know, Paul, I'm not going to take it away. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to I'm not going to stop the problem. I'm not going to remove the problem, but I'm going to give you something better than that. I'm going to give you what, I'm not going to give you what you want, but I'm going to give you just what you need. It's in the text. It's, I'm going to give you my grace. Somebody shout grace. Because my grace is sufficient. God says he can't remove it. He's not going to remove it. God doesn't say he cannot remove it. Just that his grace is sufficient. God that Paul could have received. We may not always receive the answer that we desire from God, but the answer that God gives us is better than what we originally asked for. You see, the thorn may not have been removed, but instead God gave Paul something else. He gave Paul the greatest gift that Paul could have ever imagined. He gave God, he gave Paul his grace.
to overcome the problem. I'm going to give you grace to withstand the problem. I'm going to give you grace so you can handle the problem. What Paul suggests at the end of the text is that because of grace, that because of the divine enablement, because of the divine presence, because of the gift of God that was given to him, he had more strength, he had more fight, he had more drive, he had more tenacity, he had more hope, he had more peace, he had more joy, because God's power, hear me what you could hear, is perfect. Yeah. 
dollars that you had, they gave up. They quit too quick. They decided that it was over prematurely. God gave you something. Because that's what a relationship with Jesus will do. It will give you something that other folk don't have. It will give you the strength, the inner resolve, the inner fortitude, the inner tenacity, the inner strength, the grace, the divine enablement. Your answer can still be yes. Heads about eyes are closed. Put those hands down in the sanctuary. Let it find a resting place in our heart. Let it save somebody. 